Hi, this is John McCarthy, uh, CPI in Chicago, uh, with today's morning message. Um, I wanted to talk about the most important thing that happened in the past uh, several days, which is the Humanity for Peace uh, rally that happened in New York City and the sister rallies that happened all over the world. Uh, there's a lot you could say about those. Uh, yeah, the uh, coalition could have and should have uh, been a little uh, bit more uh, broader and inclusive or whatever. But the, the most important thing about that rally is the message that was sent to it uh, by Democratic presidential candidate uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He wasn't able to attend in person, but he recorded a message. And the reason why that's so important is because of two things that he said in his message. Number one, that we are closer to a nuclear war right now than we have ever been uh, since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Closer to nuclear exchange than at any time since the Cuban Missile Crisis, uh, in which his uncle, who he knew very intimately, uh, played a key part in diffusing and the second thing that he said is that the one thing that prevented that from becoming a nuclear war and destroying all, all, all higher life on the planet no longer exists. That is a personal relationship uh, between the president of the United States and the president of Russia. That existed back then. The reason that you and I are still alive, the reason we were ever even born, most of us, is because that personal relationship existed at that time. And what he goes through uh, in his talk uh, to the Humanity for Peace rallies is that Kennedy and Khrushchev had to outsmart the people around them in order to create that personal relationship. At a certain point, they both came to realize they couldn't trust their their own uh, officials, so the people working for them, surrounding them, were war were war hawks, committed war hawks, who uh, were determined to follow a course that would have led to war. So they went around uh, what you might call the deep state and started uh, on the sly communicating with each other through back channels and cables and secret messages. That doesn't exist anymore. Not only doesn't it exist, but because of Russiagate, it's, it's practically been criminalized. Trump tried to have that relationship, and he was forced to abandon it. Uh, Biden even started one recently. What well, went when the Russians started saying that they needed security guarantees, he told them, yeah, we'll do that. Then he came back to the United States and he was ordered <laughs> not to because uh, presidents don't make foreign policy. The, uh, the, the establishment does, the, foreign, the military industrial complex. And presidents have the power to stand up to that, but they don't. And so that, that's, that's what Kennedy went to. A direct close relative of President John F. Kennedy, the, the man who saved the human race from thermonuclear destruction, uh, a direct relative of him with personal insights into what happened at that period, just recorded a statement saying that we are as close to nuclear war now as we were then, and that that mechanism that Kennedy and Khrushchev personally created to save us from that does not exist today. Now this is news. This is what everybody should be talking about. Every single cable channel, every newspaper, all of independent media. Now, we understand why mainstream corporate media isn't talking about this. They're controlled 
by that same uh, deep state military industrial complex uh, that Khrushchev and Kennedy had to go around, that they had to outsmart. They control the media now. Back then they sort of did, but there was enough independence that, you know, they, they had to at least try to uh, uh, pretend like they were reporting the news. Now it's a monopoly. Six corporations own everything. And uh, the same people are on the board of directors of all the six companies. So we understand why they're not talking about this. But why isn't independent media? Independent media is not talking about it because uh, they're fixated. Uh, the main story, according to them, about Robert F. Kennedy is his admittedly piggish views on uh, Israel and Palestine. His views are wrong. His views are bad. But I'll tell you what, if you care about Palestine, you need to make sure we repair the relationship between Russia and the United States and de-escalate this conflict immediately. Because otherwise, uh, you want to talk about a one-state solution? Uh, well, uh, Israel has nuclear weapons, and Israel is a very close ally of the United States. If nuclear war starts, Russia is going to have to target them. And... Uh, Every single Israeli and every single Palestinian, uh, they'll be in one state, all right. The state of death. That whole area will be one big pile of radioactive ash. So that'll be your one state solution. So not to say that he shouldn't be challenged on that, not to say that issue isn't important, but the most important issue right now, we're at about 30 seconds to midnight. The most important issue is de-escalating this conflict between Russia and the United States, reestablishing the mechanisms that uh, prevented nuclear war in the past and doing it immediately. And um, I don't care who you vote for. I don't care if you vote, right? I don't care what party you are. But if you care about Palestinians, if you care about the, the human race, if you care about hamsters, goats, uh, dogs, cats, and chickens, we need to stop this war and we have been provided with a uh, amazing tool for helping to stop that war. The, 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 this this uh, short but powerful message that John F. Kennedy's uh, nephew has just recorded. Now, uh, I urge you to watch it. I urge you to share the hell out of it. I urge you to use it to wake, uh, wake up your friends and neighbors and uh, your enemies too. Wake up everybody. Uh, using this amazing tool. Now, in some of the uh, archives of uh, the, the rally in, in, in New York City, only part of this message is shown. It's like the, the recording uh, of the rally started in the middle, so it's hard to find. But uh, a friend of CPI, my personal friend, uh, Lori Spencer, uh, who runs the uh, Strange Bedfellows uh, podcast, she has posted this uh, uh, the uh, entire recorded message by RFK Jr. on her YouTube channel, the Strange Bedfellows podcast channel. I think there's another YouTube channel called Just Strange Bedfellows, but Strange Bedfellows podcast uh, YouTube channel uh, by Lori Spencer. She has RFK's entire sobering and important uh, uh, warning message that he sent to this conference. And uh, please... I urge you, watch that, watch that over and over again, internalize it, and use it as an organizing tool uh, to stop this war uh, before it stops all life. Okay, thank you.